It's man talk time. So you men go on and tighten your belt up. Mm. You women go on in the kitchen making something to eat. Mm. A sandwich? Hey, you, whatever. As long as you know. If you my woman, you know what I want. You know, a lot of you dudes running around with women don't even know what y'all like to eat. Mm. It's like certain things got to ch- I mean, it, you know, at least I ain't going to say things got to change, but at least modify it. Okay. You know, Cause women, you know, and nothing against y'all. Don't be trying to die, yeah, yeah, all why, that. Why are you taking offense? No, I'm saying, don't go into that ah stuff. I'm just putting out there that this is man talk. Okay. Deal with it. Mm. You know, just like y'all deal when y'all go see y'all OBGYN, you tell them the truth. Oh, wow. Or heard the truth. So we're your OBGYNs, men. Wow. Just let's get it together. Can I be the O? I'll be the B. Okay. And then Black Freedom will be the uh, G. G-Y-N. Yeah, why not? Let's okay. get it together. Nice. It's a good day. Great day. Great day. I mean, you know, nothing really. I mean, nobody got, mm. well, well, one thing for sure, you young people are not in South Carolina, when the teachers say put your phone down, y'all putting them down. <laughs> was it an iPhone or a droid? That's what I, I don't know. what. It, evidently, it was one that went across the floor. Mm. And so did she. It's the topical news today. That's on top news. Um, everybody was in shock. when the, Shock? The cop threw the little girl. I guess his name was Fields, right? He was strong. He was a football coach. Okay. You know, and then he got fired. And a bodybuilder. And a bodybuilder. Oh, well, yeah, because he, 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 he deadlifted her mm. and threw her across, you know. Slammed the child on the hard concrete. You know, and I heard a lot of people saying, well, didn't nobody, nobody, none of the other kids in the classroom didn't do anything. Hey, man. What was they supposed to do? First of all, you only react to a cop that might kill you is if it's your mama wow. or your daughter. Okay. Then you don't really think. You just react. React. I mean, if that was my daughter, then I'd probably be dead by now because mm. I would have gave him something. Okay. I would have tried my best to lift him. You would have gave him a tasty cake? I don't know what I would have gave him, but I would have <laughs> gave him something. You know, I would have hit him in one of those pressure points, mm. but he would have had to turn around. So you have moves? And a couple. You know, a couple pressure points. You just got to know how to do it. Okay. But, you know, I mean, first of all, first and foremost, he was wrong. That's why he got fired. They got fired. But the bottom line is they look at African Americans a lot different than they do, you know, themselves. You've been to South Carolina. Yes. But you, first of all, you doing that, he didn't see his daughter or his aunt or anyone he was raised with because it wasn't his color. She was on her phone. I don't it, he's when he picked her up and lifted her and slammed her, the child on the hard concrete. Yeah, he was he was he was he was a punk for doing that. He knows it. Well, he got fired. Yeah, but he'll have a, a GoFundMe page. They'll take care. They take care of one another when they know they're wrong. Well, may I chime in here? Oh, yeah, yeah, sure. Frida. Yeah, he has a black girlfriend. Yeah, and, and you see, and you see how she's not educating him. Well, I bet he's probably thrown her a couple times. How you know? I'm just, you know, I'm just putting it out there. I'm waiting for her to to speak up for him. Look, first of all, he was wrong, and she knows. I don't care anybody okay. with any sense. It doesn't have to be color. Knew that he was out of bounds. Okay. And when he threw the little girl. Okay. Now, yeah, some people say the little girl should have paid attention, but we know. She was on her phone. But here's the thing. Young people, that part of their brain is not developed as far as reasoning, understanding. If you think of all the stuff that you did when we were young. Okay. We weren't as blatant as these kids. I mean, if somebody had authority came, we would listen to them and do what we told. But that came from home. Okay. I mean, it started from home. Mm-hmm. I mean, we were trained to listen to our aunties, our uncles. Even if our uncles were, were, were drunks, mm-hmm. we still listened to them. Right. You know, and, and your mama would say, well, I know you're drunk, but still you got to do what he say. You know, so it's just these kids have, you know, they're, they know that they can be disrespectful. On and, the phone. I mean, I'm just disrespectful, period. Mm-hmm. I mean, they don't, they walk in a room full of adults and don't speak. It starts there. Okay. You know, calling kids by calling adults by their first name. And that goes to the men. Men are demonstrating such weakness. Okay. Who are you going to respect? Okay, my question to you in elementary, did you know your teacher's first name? No. That's what I'm saying. No. I mean, I, I no, not in elementary. Right. Mr. Smyers. Right. You know, Mrs. Bradley. Mr. Williams. Yeah. You know, eventually you got to know him. Mr. Openado. Like high school, I knew Mr. Carl White. You know, he was with old girl. The who? The one that passed. Mr. Carl White, my teacher. The teacher. Oh well, my teacher, Mr. Carl White, taught uh, chemistry. He's my boy now. I still call him. Mm-hmm. You know, but um, no, we didn't. But then again, our, our teachers wasn't sleeping with us either in elementary school. But you didn't know their first names either. It was a different time. No, I don't even know if I knew my auntie's first name. Right. That's what I'm <laughs> saying. You didn't know first name. You just knew Mr. 
missiles? Yeah, they're, they're lines that are totally crossed and erased now. They, they, you don't even cross them. There's no line at all. Okay. And, so, um, and we just have to take some of that back. It starts in the home. It starts with what we allow our kids to, to say mm. and do and see. I mean, just think of the things we never really saw. Right. That, you know, so we didn't have an opinion on it. Right. You didn't have a phone. No, one, you didn't have a phone. Right. And you, if adults were talking, you, you probably weren't in the room. No. And they would even say, what you still doing in here? Don't you see us talking? Right. You know, so, and, and, and the parents weren't trying to look like the young people and act like the young people. Smoking weed with the kids and right. all that stuff. Friends. It's, yeah, they're friends. It's my best friend. Now it's Facebook and, and people saying, tell my child happy birthday. Well, you tell your child happy birthday. So the child don't have a lot of likes. I I don't know what's this Facebook stuff. This mm. it's kind of like it's it's their new imaginary friend is real now. Mm. You know, Facebook and and Twitter and Instagram. This is the kid's new imaginary friend. So they think they have all these friends. And so their birthday's got to be dealt with immediately. Oh man, people tell you on mm. Facebook to say happy birthday to my kid. And, and and even like I saw a post today <laughs> where Which the one? woman I don't know, but this woman was talking about. Um, her husband in the hospital and pray for him, but yet she took a picture of herself full makeup. Mm. Please. I mean, we're just so self-centered right now. How many likes did it have? I don't even, I, I, I scroll right over it. Oh, just, wow. You know, I scroll and try to get to something that makes sense or, mm-hmm. you know, now, you know, shout out before we go even further to um, my friend who passed, uh, the model, Sam. Yeah, you told me poem. about that. Yeah, he was a good friend. I knew him. Yeah. Um, apparently what they're saying is that he committed suicide. Right. And he was on top of the um, Pasadena, California Bridge. And That's the name of it? It was, I, it was in, the bridge was in Pasadena. I'm just and asking. And Teeter, do you remember? He was on Reach Around Radio with us. I'm saying he reminded me of that. Yeah, yeah. very talented young man. And, and it, it goes, we're going to talk about this later. Yeah. With, with depression and men and how... Um, Certain sensitivities are just eating us up right. Right, before we had to take care of. Them. But let's let's stay with them because um, POTUS was you know about being fact, fact freedom. saying let's you guys are all over the place. So we're trying to do better radio today. So we're going to stick with this one topic right now. Okay, which is the young lady who was thrown against across the floor in South Carolina. Slammed the child on the hard concrete. Right. Yeah. I mean, we got he this, got fired. Listen, growing up, we got checked. Oh. I mean, our dads would put the one-two on us if we went too far. I remember one time I was outside playing. Wait a minute. What grade could you whoop your dad? What grade could you whoop him? I could never whip him. No? No. I wouldn't want to whip him. No, I I'm not think saying, but way. you walking around the house, you know, you want some more grits. You want some more bacon. See, that's what I'm saying. That's the thought process. I would never think to whip my father because no, I had too I'm much not, love for I'm him. No, I'm not saying that because I know your dad. He's a great golfer. Right. Can you beat him in golf? Oh, I, he can't play basketball. My dad's not an athlete. So, so you I, can take him to the hoop. Oh, man, my dad. He, one time he tried to show us how to play ball. My brother and I looked at him like, really? He could teach us how to play dice. Oh, hilarious. Oh, he knows. You know how to, he told us how to play dice, how to pick up women. He told us all the unnecessary things. So we why are you still need. single? Because I, it was funny. A girl was asking me that the other day. Why? Uh, what, what, is, what controls me? Mm. And I told her it's just... It's my thought process. Mm. I, I don't, you know, there's a switch. Like, well, I see a fine woman, I'll lust. But then you. Well, lust? Yeah, I mean, I'll look at her and say, oh, she's fine. But then I'll turn that switch. Do I want that drama behind it? Mm. You know, no, it's but not you, worth it. You meet women for lunch. I'll have lunch with women. I like right. taking women out to lunch and, okay. and, and, and being a gentleman. And that, that's fun with conversation. Mm. And then after a while, I realize what baggage they're bringing to lunch. Is it Gucci? Because they don't take doggy bags away. They bring the baggage in. I know I heard that. Was it Gucci? He's so funny. So, well, do you take women to lunch? Yes, but I eat their food. (laughs) Yeah, okay. You don't do that. No, I I actually let them take the food home, (laughs) you know, because I know women won't eat when they're supposed to. Mm -hmm. But I'm just, you know, that's just who I am. So you order a salad? No, I, I, I'm, 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 I'm a lot happier now, so I'm eating more. Oh, you know. So, but, 
back to the point of um, every time I look at poet, it's just like back to the point. Fact, no, Frida. don't worry about me. Do no, your thing. No, I, I wanted to. I, I thought you were actually correct that we should stay more on point and, and for a better radio. I gave it some thought. Okay, so oh. is basically the topic discipline in today's society. I mean, because it certainly has changed since you've grown up. I've grown up. Because now it's pretty much a crime if you hit your kid with a switch or an extension mm. cord. Or... Yeah, but I think discipline is different now because now love is something that these kids need more of. We knew we had so many different people loving us growing up. Mm-hmm. Our aunt, our uncle, our brothers. It was more of an extended family around. Mm-hmm. Now with, with less people around, there's, there's, there's a lot of love that's voided now. They don't get it. They don't get you did a good job or let me see your report card or or you look nice. You know, you, you, kids don't hear a lot of good things. Do you mm. believe in um, whipping? Oh, if it's necessary. I whip my kids. I only I only pop my daughter once. Mm. She was smart. See, the, the, see, the first kid usually gets beat down. Hold up. The second kid don't. Hold up. You didn't trip your daughter? Oh, yeah. That's a little joke I got. Yeah, I don't think you should hit kids, but legally you can trip them. <laughs> but, um, no, my son, I put it on him a couple of times. Oh, wow. The last time I put it on him, he was about 15. So that's when he was playing football. Yeah, he tried to step to me, put mm-hmm. his chest out, and I didn't appreciate it. And I punched him in his chest so hard, and he cried. Aww. And I felt bad, but... Um, what was the most effective uh, discipline method that you feel... Most uh, effective. Or, or that you've used, From, or do you feel? What do you feel would be effective discipline? I days? truly believe it's consistent love. Oh, I really believe that. I mean, I, I, I wish I had the oh sound effect. I, I think okay. I think <laughs> if a kid acts a certain way, you have to meet them. Now, if they if they go crazy and yell at whatever, then you have to meet that force. Okay, you, just to let them know that no, I, I can I can go there if you want because I think crazy should meet crazy at least once. Yeah. So they know that, okay, you know, they because you got to have stories for them. Right. Like my son, I would tell him not to wear baseball caps to school. Mm-hmm. So one time I ran up on him in school and he had the baseball cap. So we got in the car and I threw the car cap out the, out the car. So, and uh, this my hey man, well you can get out the car and go get it. It's on the freeway. Mm. But I told you I don't want you wearing hats. Mm-hmm. Um, so certain things like that. Is there a particular reason why you didn't want him to wear a hat? Because he was at a private school with a lot of white kids, and I didn't want him walking around thinking he was a thug and trying to project that image. You're there to learn. Yeah. You could wear the hat afterwards, after school, but you're not going to wear it walking around campus. But he was a star receiver. I don't care what he was. I know you don't care as a father, but he, you know, he's the big man on campus. Well, I want him to project the in, in, image of, mm-hmm. a, of a student athlete <laughs> okay. getting A's, and that's, that's the image that we were paying for. Well, he's a good guy. Good oh, he's guy. good now. He's working two jobs. But he did wear on. skinny jeans. And that, that's grown men wearing skinny jeans. We're going to talk about that, too. No, he was wearing skinny. I saw him. He was like, look, Tina, they cute. No, he's <laughs> <laughs> You're wrong. He didn't say that. He, he was definitely, he had some Philly in him. But Would he, you allow your son to sag? Hmm. Um, no. I, I mean, he did. And whenever I, it was in my face, I told him to pull him up. But that was, and then as a, you know, yeah, keep in mind, as a parent, you have to, Pick your wars. You have to pick your fights. Now, if he's getting A's and all that, I'm not going to sit there and fight him on, you know. Right. But you're not going to embarrass me. Mm. You know, if we go somewhere, you're going to pull your pants up. But that's just the. That's fair. But it's hard to sag with skinny jeans. I saw him in them. They were cute. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying. Yeah, he, he's, a, he's, a, he's, a, he's a good kid. But so I think that, I, I think now, where we are now, okay. in this today's society, we had different disciplines. You know, our dad, you know, we got whippings with extension cords. Right. You know, we got, you know, I mean, I, I do the joke about how it's so different now. Our parents would smoke in the car with us with the windows up, and then they would have you hold the cigarette. Hold the cigarette. And you stand there at 12 years old, you know, 8 years old, hold the cigarette. Now, what kind of car was it? It was a Chevy Impala. But can I add mm. this? Um, cigarettes have also changed over the past 10, 20, 30 years. They have more toxic chemicals in it. Right. I oh. think. I mean, not that it was good for kids back then. There's still a secondhand smoke, but it's really bad. It's. I think it's worse now, though. Mm. But also, parents used to... Fact I remember, Frida. I remember they used to have the little dinner parties, and I remember your parents saying, if you were a boy, get that boy a drink. He's he going to be drinking soon. Let him taste his dark liquor. Mm. 
But my question was: This the devil egg party where they had the devil eggs? Yes, yes. And, and fris- fried the fish and, mm-hmm. and and anything that they felt like. Or don't June, don't get that boy no alcohol. Well, that boy gonna be drinking soon. Let so, him have a taste of it. So you did you indulge? No, that was my uncle Peanut and all them, and did, I, I was like did, the athlete. So they, you know, you they didn't drink. N- no, I couldn't handle handle liquor. Mm. No, no, I, I I tried to drink um, Mad Dog Twenty Twenty. Oh. You tried that? Oh my God, I was so sick. I was like, never again. Even now, if I have three beers, I'm on. Some mm-hmm. people would give their babies beer. Yeah, I mean, we if, when they were teething, okay. we'd, we'd put a little, you know, a little alcohol in the teeth and put them to sleep, you know, that little, but not no, I mean, we had to take a drink. We were growing up. It was like a shot glass. Right, right, right. <laughs> you know, they just wanted to, and you call, call, go, be a man, be a man. Mm-hmm. You know, you, certain things you can't even say now, but, but all that was, and we saw kids who did things wrong, and it was a lesson learned. Right. You know, we saw if a kid was in a gang or he got shot or he ended up dead. And, you know, he's like, you don't want to end up like that. You know, the examples are, I mean, you got a lot of examples now, but none of them pertain to them. They don't think these Did things Did he just taste like. himself? What? How, what are you talking about? I thought I heard a smack. <laughs> Fact Frida. Hilarious. Heard a smack. So, no, I think discipline is different. I think now in today's society, you have to really push love in these kids. And okay. Happy know. birthday to Willow Smith. It's her birthday. Oh, Will Smith and Jada Pinkett. Just Pinkerson. came out the blue with that. Yeah. Well, happy birthday to her. Well, it's her birthday and Vanilla Ice's birthday today. And he's a, he's 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 uh, he ice, builds, ice baby. Yeah, he builds cabinets and stuff right. like that. Yeah, he's he's found his way. And that's why I tell all these young people happy who get birthday. in show business, there's so many ways you can find your happiness and make money. That's right. why it was so sad when the young boy lost his life. You know, it's it's hard. Yeah, I remember from Reach Around Radio. I remember. Yeah. yeah. Okay, it's time to take a break. I'm TDP. And I'm uh, the loving father, Louis Dix. Love your kids. Don't beat them. And the phone lines are open, 323-293-3375, if you want to comment on discipline in 2015. Wow. Or back when you got whipped down. How, how, what was your discipline like? Did you get whippings? Was it extension cord? Was it punishment? We'll be right back. I hate when people accidentally call you. They didn't accidentally call you. That was your son. They do that. Oh, Chuck Farmer. from He's from KC? Chuck Farmer. Somebody said Chuck Farmer. You guys who are not, you guys in the... I think he's from Baltimore. All right, Fact you people. Frida. This is what TDP, because I don't really like you people out there, but oh, TDP. Wow, I'm just really? kidding. Like, Chuck Farmer. And then uh, Tall Dude 7. Okay. I don't know who calls himself Tall Dude 7. That's their screen names, LD. Why don't they do real names? Empress no. Lee 23. Now, what does that mean? I mean, how do you come up with screen names? Do you know what an empress is? Yeah, the, yeah, it's just like an emperor, right? You tell me. An empress is a girl. Okay. An empress that's who it dude. is. So it's a girl, Empress Lee 23. How did she come up with that name? Well, I mean, what made her? I mean, is she an empress? I mean, right. Oh, that's her screen name. Like, I'm figuring, all right, the tall dude's got to be tall, right? Or he's real short. Tall dude seven. So is he the seventh tallest person in his family? We'll find out. I mean, that's, I, I or think. Or his last name could be tall. Fact, he, Frida. Oh, there you go. Now, Chuck Farmer sounds like a real Chuck person. Farmer, is, he's OG. He's Baltimore. He's, he's down by law. Lexington Market. They never had. I went there one time. But the crab cakes, man. Right? Way that? back when, and I was in Lexington Market, and I and I had twenty dollars, and they didn't have change for twenty, but they had food stamps. They gave me my change in food stamps. Did you take it all day long? Okay. I did. You know, I shout out. Did I like they Baltimore. give you extra because it was food stamps? No, they were serious back then. Mm. But um, you had the booklet. I was at the Lyric Opera House. I think they changed the name, but I, I enjoy Baltimore. Okay. I like Baltimore a lot. It's, it's, it reminds me of Philly. And Baltimore's got a lot of talent. Yeah. I went to that ballpark when it was first. So shout out to all of you. Chuck Farmer. Chuck Farmer. I wonder how Chuck Farmer got disciplined. Mm. Now, Tall Dude probably got whipped. Tall Dude 7. Got whi- you got to say the 7. Sorry, right. Tall Dude 7. Because you might think it's Lamar Odom. Who's getting better? Yeah, he wouldn't let his dad in, I heard. Okay, but we're... Um, yeah, I heard that too. But... So uh, let us know how you got uh, disciplined. What's the number again? Mm. 323-293-3375. All right, cool. Now, um, speaking of uh, discipline, okay. you and I were talking last night about um, my boy who passed away, God rest his soul, the model. Sam Sarpone, I believe that's how you pronounce it. The model. 
Yeah, I knew him as Sammy. Okay. Um, very talented young man. He was 40 years old. He did the show. And um, he was a friend, friend of our family. Mm -hmm. So it was interesting because he always was smiling. Yeah. Always happy and upbeat and so cool. He had a coolness about him that was just something. that I, yeah. I mean, I, I was always happy to see him. And I saw him a week and a half ago. Yeah. I was leaving a lot from doing the show, and he was heading into a show doing a modeling show, and we hugged and said hi. Mm -hmm. And it, first of all, depression is real. Yeah. Um, and um, men, and, and I, I would normally say black men, but uh, all right, we have a phone call right now. Hello. So let's, uh, we'll, we'll get back to you, Sam. You're not going anywhere. Mm. That's cold, but go ahead. <laughs> back to Frida. <laughs> hey, caller, what's up? Hey, what's up, Lou? What's up, TDC? Who's this? Yeah. This is Aaron Glad, man. Hey, Aaron, how you doing? Aaron. I'm chilling. Where you from, Aaron? Detroit. 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 So you must have a house. Great time in Detroit. We got a great time yeah, in Detroit. Aaron Glad from Detroit. What's your situation, Aaron? What are you? You're how old are you? First of all, um, I'm fifty. Oh, okay. that's, uh, you sound you sound forty nine. Yeah, he's OG <laughs> Detroit. Yeah, so so you've lived a good life. You uh, what's your situation? You have a family or what? Oh uh, yeah, man, five kids, five grandkids, best wife in the world. Wow, man, how long you been married? Uh, I've been married the second time for ten years. So okay, first cool. Time, first well, time was you know. 10 years. Well, good. Well, congratulations, man. Yeah. Five grandkids. Now, what was that like, your first grandkid? Yeah. Um, it was different. It was different. You can send them home, you know. But, oh, wow. Uh, <laughs> yeah, but, but the thing about it is, you know, I just, it's different with the grandkids, man. It's a different level of love. Mm -hmm. And it's a, that, that, like you guys are saying, it's a different kind of discipline as well. Mm -hmm. You know, you don't want to step on the parents' toes. Oh, okay. but at the same time, he's trying. You want to instill that old school value mm -hmm. to them as well. Now, how were you raised? I mean, your discipline. How did that come with you? Oh uh, man, my mom. We used to have this broke table, and sometimes the leg would come off. We used to hate that table. Hilarious. She used to rip that leg off and beat the brains out of us. Man. man. Uh, mm. But I mean, you know, my mom's kids never. Uh, we never uh, saw inside of a jail cell. Mm -hmm. We never, you know, we didn't, we didn't get, we were more scared of her than we were of the police. Right. So cool. She got her respect. We Good. just gave her a 70th birthday party. Oh, and wow. one of the things that everybody talked about was her discipline. Even the gangsters on that street respected my mom. Hilarious. Wow. Yeah. Now, now, so your mom, so you're 50, so your mom had you when she was 20. Yeah. Oh, wow. Wow. And um, was dad around? Yeah, dad was super fly, you know. Hilarious. Hilarious. Man was married him straight out of high school, mm. which was a mistake. You know, he just kind of skimmed through. Mm -hmm. So I kind of built my own uh, mentor. I took a piece of this guy, took a piece of that guy, made me one whole guy, and uh, just just followed the, what they did. I like the guy how he did this dude. Uh, he was professional. Followed his trait. Mm -hmm. Saw my grandfather's work ethic. I followed his trait. Put all those guys in one guy. Good for you. So that's wow. what, that's yeah, what I'm I, talking about. Now, you grew up your, your whole life? You've been in Detroit? Yeah. Yeah, I left for a while, you know, um, doing some professional stuff in D.C. Mm -hmm. And then I came back home, you know, because my mom was getting up there. She was, uh, um, I, want, I just wanted to be close to her, take care of her, make sure she had some supplemental income and all of that. That's right. Hey, let me ask you a but, question, Aaron. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Yeah. I didn't mean to cut you off. Go ahead. Well, go ahead. I'll remember. Go ahead. No, go ahead. Go ahead, because I won't remember. It's time to what? play our game. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Lou, I, I I got this. I have a business. Um, I make T-shirts out here for the youth out here, and I put whatever they're saying. So one of my T-shirts fits you pretty well, sir. Oh, wow. Called, he yeah, knows your measurements. Uh, <laughs> no, the thing on the shirt fits. fits. He's just trying oh. to be funny. Man. I thought he knew your measurement. Go on. What <laughs> size do you wear, Lou? I wear um, a large, medium. Large. He's not <laughs> He's <the> same <laughs> medium. <laughs> no, medium when I want to look buff, but large. I'm getting oh to a large. God, I've been working medium. out. So you buff on Sunday? My, no, my undershirt's a medium. Oh, but wow. I'm getting back to a large now. Oh, okay. I used to be extra large. Wow. But go ahead. What does what does the shirt say, Aaron? It says FBI, and that stands for Fathers Being Involved. And oh, I like wow. To send you one. Like to send you one for free, man, because you always sticking up for dads. 
Oh. And I admire that in you, man. Well, you know what, man? I, I will definitely uh, wear it. Wow. Um, you can uh, hit me on Facebook. Why are you sitting up? I'm, I'm sitting up because, look, man. <laughs> Yeah, that was interesting under that setup. You're not going to send it through the phone. I, listen, Aaron, Aaron, hit me up on Facebook and inbox me, and I'll inbox you my number and everything, oh, and, we'll, and we'll connect. Um, listen, cool. I'm, 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 You're it's, creepy. No, I, listen, I, I have respect for, for men who put their work in. Detroit, five I kids, had a great time in Detroit. Five kids, five grandkids. Yeah. That, that, that. Now, Aaron, how did you, what was your discipline for your kids? What style did you use? Mm. Oh, I, 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 I beat their butt, man. Oh, I wow. mean, uh, you know, I don't, I took my, that page from my mom's, man. Mm-hmm. You know, um, my first marriage, the, the, the wife wasn't uh, into that. Okay. So she had a hard time receiving that. She was just kind of a, the kind of her kid that you had to just talk to and she would obey. But, you know, oh, nice. boys, mm-hmm. boys need to be, they need to bust their head a couple of times before they learn. Mm-hmm. Well, you sucked so, your son in, his, in the chest. Yeah, you had to, I mean, you have to let him know. I mean, because he's going to grow up, you know, thinking that he can handle you. Right. But yeah. they, they just, you got to meet crazy with crazy. I mean, if they're okay. real boys, mm-hmm. you know, and when I say yeah. real boys, I mean active. I understand what you're saying. Right, um, right. You know. When they start smelling themselves, you got to give them something to smell. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. Wow, Aaron is serious. <laughs> no, I mean, I, I, I so out of my cologne. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, it's crazy. So, um, so the grandkids is a whole different kind of love, huh? You ain't wearing it. <laughs> yeah, it is because, you know, you want their parents to experience giving them discipline. You don't want to overstep the parents. So, when but when they're over here without the parents, it's is you know it's, it's straight up and down. I'm coming straight at you. Right. But you know, you tell them, their dad or their mom, hey. You need to talk to this kid because if you don't, I'm gonna have to jump in the chest. Ooh, yeah, you know, great. I mean, kids are the same, but they're a little different this, uh, in this generation. But they they generally the same. They want discipline. Mm. I you agree. Know, they actually want it. Mm-hmm. I agree because they're all over the place unless you settle them down. Well, exactly. Aaron, uh, please uh, hit me hit me up with that. I, I, Detroit, much Notice. respect, man, and 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 thank you for um, for raising uh, five great kids and now handling the grandkids. Hey, you're welcome, man. And thank you for being an advocate for fatherhood. And oh, I'll, hey. I'll, uh, I'll hit you up. All right, please do, Aaron. And much love to you, Aaron. Aaron, Apollo legend. I, that's cool. Because <laughs> <laughs> you're getting a T-shirt. Bless your heart. Hey, it's, I, I love free gear. Okay. You know, um, but uh, so, yeah. That's, Can I give a fact? Yes. In this day in history, Earl Lloyd was the first NBA player. You mean there was somebody before Kobe? 1950. Earl Lloyd, first black Hoopster. And you imagine what he went through. Yeah. I mean, imagine. I mean, that's the thing I look at. Like Aaron was saying, you know, you take a piece of all of these men. Put it together. And you put it together. Mm-hmm. But they're dissecting men, I mean, just beating us down to where we can't, you know, we can't showcase the best of ourselves. Wow. And, and, and we go back to Sam and what he was going through. Your model friend. Yeah, because I remember when I went through my my depression, and I, I I try to pacify by saying my little depression. It wasn't little at all. Okay. I mean, I lost like well, that's what she said. Thirty pounds. <laughs> I got that. Have you ever been depressed? Two times. You didn't lose weight. That's for sure. You must have ate your depression. <laughs> well, you don't have a nice shape. So no, really, because I mean, I, I I always wondered if if thugs get hmm? depressed. What is a thug, Lewis? Somebody who can fight. You can't fight? I can defend myself. You can't fight? I'm, I'm not a fighter. I wouldn't start a fight. I, I, would you I would box Aaron? Myself. I wouldn't have to. Aaron and I would sit down and talk. Since you won't fight your father, could you fight Aaron? No, I, I find a reason not to fight someone. I'm just asking a question. No, I'm not into fighting, man. I just, that, to okay. me, that's just... You're a lover? No. I, I, no, wow. I mean, I'm a, you know what I'm saying. I'm, no, I'm, I don't know. You know what? You got jokes. Back Frida. You're, you're, you, you throw a curveball, and then I, I, I flinch, so I'm not going to. Aw. I, I um, need some skinny jeans with your shirt that's coming. <laughs> you're going to be cute. Ah, you stupid, <laughs> man. Um, back to um, what you and I were talking about last night Hilarious. about men. Um, you know, I, I'm sure our fathers were depressed, and, and they used other instruments to help them get through it. A lot of them were drinkers. A lot of them, and sadly, let's be honest, a lot of them put their hands on our mothers. Okay. Um, a lot of them had, you know, other women. So. Um, Are you jealous? 
No, it was just certain certain things I know I saw growing up. Okay. That were I felt, and plus a lot of them got young, got married when they were young. Like Aaron's parent was twenty, my my mom was like seventeen, and my yeah. dad was you know like twenty. So, do you think um, men mask it better than women? Yeah, I don't. I, yeah, I'm def. I think women. Like I've always said that women, once they have an OBGYN, you know, it's even us. when they, even when they become, they start their. I don't know the word. Their menstrual cycle. Oh. They have to do a lot of internal work on themselves. They have to know that they have to every 28 days they're going to go through some pain that they're. You know they're women, and that they Plus, have more responsibilities. It's, uh, hormonal with us, mm. right? Sometimes it's uh, it's just the hormonal balance that makes us a bit more emotional than when we're not on our cycle. Right, and you have to. And women are. Excuse me. What? That was a fact, Frida. Given a fact about women, about our menstrual about cycle. Yes. Yeah. Thank you very much. Well, as as only she should give that information. Here. Yeah, because when I start to feel a, a little depressed. Oh wow. Sometimes I check the calendar, and a mm. lot of times it's just going through that time of the month. Mm. And, and they're and they're educated how to deal with it more. How do you deal with yours? Some women don't recognize that that's the issue. I didn't start recognizing that until I was a grown ass woman. Wow. Wow. But 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 you knew. And one thing I think women know that they they're not alone. You know, they know other women have cramps and have menstrual cycles. <laughs> Where men, we don't really know what's you know what's going on. This dude, you think you really are alone? Because I think. I know when you're when you're young, you're, you're young and you you know and you go through your friendships and then you hit twenties and you're, you're kind of into your life and what you're doing and you're mm -hmm. active and you're I'm with you. you know then your thirties you know you feel still feel like you got time and you're you're you, you're mobile and you usually got all your hair and you're handsome and then when you get to like thirty eight thirty nine you start saying whoa what's going on here am I and you get to your forties am I really accomplishing you start measuring yourself I'm with you and then you start that's when it starts hitting you like hey I'm not you know, I'm not Kevin Hart or I'm not, you know, D.L. Ugly. I'm not, where am I? You know, so then you start, and then you, you get in You're your mid forties, then you start saying, whoa, what, what's going on? So that depression hits you that I'm not, you know, even and a lot of people who have success still you. feel empty. And then I think once you get 50, you start really having a balance of understanding that I'm okay. I'm not that mm -hmm. bad. You know, and if you if you find something that's more important than you. Like what? Like I found coaching kids. It was important for me because you have a you get an honesty helping kids. You get right. a you see that it's not about you. Right. When I go to coach these kids and they they're trying to get better, mm -hmm. you get a joy from that. Yeah. My brother's a coach and a lot of the brothers good brothers I know do coaching. But I have a statistic here. Okay. Um, fact Frida. Okay. Excuse me. Nothing like a statistic. It, it, According to the Centers for Disease Control, the suicide rate for black men is this age range is 18. Mm. In this modern day? This or, uh, this article is actually, I think, a year old. Okay. Wow. And um, they're saying um, 18 per 100,000. And I think a lot of it has to do with what I was saying earlier, that we had so many checkpoints of people who loved us that we could— you know that these young boys don't have those checkpoints. Your uncle, mm -hmm. your father, the Mr. Russell at the store. Aaron. You know, right? Aaron. People just saying hello to you. Right. No one really communicates with these little young boys. Right. We we we. They know how we feel about them. Mm -hmm. That we don't trust them. That they're not anything in life. That they're hateful. That they kill each other. That they're bums. Okay. You know, they get women pregnant. So and all. And if you listen to that, a lot of it, not all of it, is highlighted in their music. Why are you blaming the music? I'm not blaming. I said a lot of it's highlighted. You you can take it any way you want, but if you if you have love and consistency and know people love you, you're hearing that music totally different. I'm with you. If you're if you're lonely and depressed and and you walk in the house and your auntie and mother's like, oh here come this thing again, here come again. Why don't you oh, wow. do something with your life? I mean that's coming from people who are supposed to love you. Right. We never heard that a lot. Mm -hmm. I mean they probably said it, but they, we were outside. You said a lot. But that they hearing it a lot? Right, right. I think so. I, I mean, uh, well, well, the it, statistic just said it. Well, it, Fact there's freedom. no denying that music has an influence on you. Just a little. So to me, uh, it may, some that mm. are more intelligent may, you know, realize, okay, this is just 
entertainment, as they say. But for a younger person, I think it's influential. I know it was for me. I listened to love songs. So the, I Gaye. wanted to be How in love. I wanted to be in love. I mean, I enjoyed being in love. Marvin Gaye, Smokey Robinson, your, you know, what you I heard. What was your favorite album? Hmm? You told us what was your favorite album, Marvin Gaye. I, Marvin Gaye, I Want You. It yeah. made me want to be a lover. It made me want to, you know, I mean, Superfly was a cool album. made you want to be cool. Curtis Mayfield. And you saw that at the Capitol. Yeah, so it... It, it, it also made people want to be pimps. What? The movie. Right, right. right. But I didn't have pimp mentality. I wasn't. Oh, come on. I wasn't pimpable. You got to. You got to. <laughs> what do you mean? Oh, no, you on. were pimpable. <laughs> <laughs> so yes, I believe that the music and the movies have an influence. Like they say, the uh, Scarface movie definitely encouraged a lot of people to. Did sell you see cocaine. that? Yes, love the movie. Now, where did you see that? I, I, I was out here. I don't know. I don't okay. know where I saw that. I don't know oh, where wow. I saw that phrase. I mean, my daughter is so funny. She um, asked me last night, mm -hmm. Dad, have you ever seen Pulp Fiction? Because her oh, and her there. friend went as Vincent and John Travolta and, and the girl, uh, Uma, when they did the little, she had the little black wig on. So I was like, yes, I saw it, Peyton, when you and your brother was asleep. <laughs> you talking about Uma Thurman. Right. Yeah. In that, so her and her friend went, and then she said, "Don't worry, I'm not really going to smoke." Because she, in the picture, she had a cigarette. And Did you like the movie? I loved it. Oh, okay, she was great. I, I enjoyed that movie. Nice. So, um, yeah. So, I mean, I enjoyed Hell Up in Harlem and Black Caesar. Mm, those throw, were great throw, movies. Throw, those, those were. Those were. But I, you didn't and, have a leather coat. Hey, it, a lot of people don't know this flick. Okay. And I know Aaron would know it. It's called the Education of Sonny Carson. That's a western. No, homie, that's a flick. How you know? Because I, 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 that that movie influenced me. It was okay. about gangs and it influenced me not to be in the gang. Okay. I mean, fame influenced me too. I enjoyed that movie. Okay. But, fame. Yeah, fame. Oh, I, oh, I was. That's the flick. I know the whole How flick. Did, what was it about that movie that influenced? Being you? an artist. Mm. You know, being, you know, being prepared, mm. you know, wanting to be an artist. The whole thing when the guy said, you know, actors, you know, being an actor, being prepared. So did you aspire to be an actor first or a stand up comic? An actor. I, w I went to school to study theater. So mm -hmm. I was at a, like an all white school studying theater. What happened was I was studying to be a physical therapist and I knew I couldn't handle the science. Mm. My first grade, I was like, oh, this is not going to work. Mm. So I went to my. My my counselor and said the Why dumbest thing because it was so <laughs> stupid that I went to her and said, "Can you tell me a major where you doesn't don't have to carry books?" Wow, that was probably the first joke I said and didn't realize I was doing comedy. And she looked at me and said, "You need to go to the theater department because anybody that can act a fool like that go on to go." Mm -hmm. So I went to the theater department and a little little short lady named uh, Judy Novice. Judy Judy Novice, and then I took her class and was and, it Miss Novice? No, it was just, you can. Do you call the teachers by their? Full I was in name college. This co was college. In college, or do you say professor novice? It was Judy novice because it was theater. You had to. You had to be. She was open like, like that. Like an actress. Yeah. So she was. So and, I want to know in this class, mm -hmm. did you wear leg warmers? Oh, you mean like like my man uh, in fame? Fame. I had to take dance. Yeah, and I didn't want to. Um, oh my oh, god! I had to take dance, and I had to take you know, and speech, and then you had to do I an never exercise. Knew this, Lewis. Oh, you had to take an exercise where you had to th think about your darkest mm -hmm. moment, and so you can learn to cry. And okay. I was crying because I thought about a, a sad moment in my life where oh. I, where I um, it was the worst mistake of my <laughs> life towards my mother, and okay. I still feel that pain. Mm -hmm. And it was something that I I turned away from, mm -hmm. <clears throat> and um, you know it was. And as a man, I mean, I, I'll share it. It was it was oh, it was wow. heavy. We have an exclusive. Um, and it was one of the weakest moments. Uh, but I was young now, and I, I was like, right, you just 15. got your leg warmers. No, right? I wasn't in college. I was fifteen. Okay, same. And man. my mom and dad were getting a divorce, and my mom was going to the house where we used to live to pick up something. Oh, okay. And my dad told me to um, go outside. Oh, okay. And wait on the steps. Okay. And I did it. And he were, he was beating my mother. Oh wow! And my mother, then came out, crying, beat up. We got in the car, and she looked at me and she says, "I don't know why you did that. I still love you, but don't ever treat a woman like that." And then she 
she gave it was it was my birthday was coming. She gave me a watch and said, "This is your Aww. birthday present." Did you drive? Did you drive her to the hospital? No, she didn't have to go to the hospital. She, okay. He just put her hands on her, mm. and I never forgave him for that. Okay. To this day, I would, and I wish I was man enough to tell him what how that hurt me. Okay. But because he's in his seventies. I, I, you know, that's just, that's why I always say that there's certain things that men wish they could sit down with their fathers and talk to them about. Okay. And that was one of the reasons why it was important for me to be, to be a good father. Mm. So my son wouldn't have that kind of image. Right. And memory. So. I'm with you. You know, I, I to this day, I, I try to apologize to her with love. Okay. Excessive love. But, you know, that's just, you know, so that's part of, um, you know, back to what we were talking about. We were talking Hilarious. about. Hilarious. Um, that that really bothers me, um, but um, you know, we we as men, we, you know, we go through this this depression thing, and we don't want to reach out to one another. Okay. Um, I know, like you, you and I are good friends, and I know if oh, I call really. you oh, hilarious, I know I know if a certain man or any, most men that I know and I respect call me, I'll pick up. Okay. If it's after a certain hour, hilarious. Either they need something or, you know, they need to talk, mm-hmm. and. Um, I think we need that. Okay. Like my boy's fat Paul Peanut, but I think Peanut the only one with a phone. But <laughs> that would answer. You got a phone too. But um, you know, I don't think the young boys have that friend that they can. You know, and I'm sure Sam had friends. He just didn't know how to. Because it's hard. You don't know how to when a person's going through it. Men, we do mask it. As, to answer your question, poetess, we mask it. What, Fact free though. Yeah, we we mask it and. It's a shame because we 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 need to reach out more. Okay. But we're afraid we're going to get teased, you know. Why be afraid of that? Be, be, my generation. Oh, your generation. I don't think the newer generation. I mean, that's why I always ask my son, you know, how you doing? I love you. Mm-hmm. So hopefully if he is going through something, you know. And moms know. Moms have a thing, you know. And I always communicate with their mom. Hey, you talk to Lou. How's he doing, you know. I'm with you. Girls... You know, my daughter communicates more. You know, if she's going through something, she'll say, Dad, I need to talk to you, but you can't talk. Just listen. Right. Because we try to fix it. Okay. You know. Got a, another phone call, man. Ooh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Is it, is hey. it talk? Hello? Hey, how's it going? It's uh, Bo Diddley calling uh, 1 a.m. on the East Coast. Bo Diddley? Bo Diddley? Where are you calling from? Calling from uh, the Dirty Jersey. Dirty what? Jersey. Dirty Jersey. Orange, yeah. New Jersey. That's how we do it down here. But yeah, I just wanted to call in to talk about like uh, how you guys earlier how music and movies influence us. Like I didn't grow up with a daddy. I'm gonna I'm put that out there right now. Mm-hmm. I didn't have a daddy in my life. So the first time I saw Purple Rain, I was like, yo, I want to be like Prince. Wow. Because I knew when I saw him put the eyeliner on and then he got that he got that bad Apollonia, I was like, ah, that's what I'm meant to be. <laughs> you know I, mean? I just want to put it out there. Great movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm with you, man. When Jerome threw the girl in the trash can. Mm. Sorry, <laughs> Hysterical. That was a great movie, and yeah. she was fine. That was a great movie. Yeah, and she jumped so in that me, lake. Let me let me get your opinion while I got you guys on the phone. How do you feel about a guy growing up now in the 2015s wearing a little bit of eyeliner to attract the ladies? I mean, peacocks even got they they got the colors on the feathers. So what mm. are you supposed to do? Wow. I, you know, Bo Diddley has a question out of Jersey. Hey, that that's. Interesting. Um, I, I don't know about the eyeliner. I guess, you know, Arsenio wore it. Okay. Um, Arsenio, we got a little Michael Jackson, we got Prince, we got Rick James. I think if you have enough talent, but that you was could a wear different it. era. Yeah, if, if you have enough talent, you can, I right. think you can wear it, you know, and, and um, but I think for a regular guy, and I say that with quotes, quotes. like somebody that's, you know, uh, um, uh, uh, you know, a garbage man or work for the gas company. I don't he think you should wear? be walking around with eyeliners. Oh, wow. <laughs> I, I, just don't, I just think there's a time and place, and, okay. you know, and, and I just don't think you should be, you know, uh, doing yard. P fills in his mustache with eyeliner. Is that true? Oh, no. No, I no. now, and I, I have to be honest. Now, if I don't, if my mustache is becoming gray and I don't, I don't have time to go get it, I, I hit it with eyeliner. Oh, wow. you like a writer. Okay, I, okay. I, I, I hit it so it can look dark. I just can't hug you. 
Oh. But, you know, if my little hair is a little gray and I can't, uh, that's my little touch up. I got eyeliner in the car. Yeah, what? But I'm, I'm in show business. Okay. I, I mean, I can't walk around with a salt and pepper, but, you know. Why not? Well, because I'm just, I, I'm, you know, it's just where I am. So, so what do you do when you go to kiss a girl and then it rubs off on her upper lip? I, 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 I go, <laughs> you know what? <laughs> you know what? That's a good question. I actually, I actually Mo go Dilly wash my face Apollo first. Legend. Before I'm kissing a girl, I'm showering. You know? Showering? Yeah, I'm going to take a shower. I'm a, you know, I mean, if I'm kissing a girl, she knows I'm, I got a gray. You got body wash? Well, Les Brown admitted that Hysterical. he uses mascara to cover up decides you know when it's yeah when right. it's a quick fix i yeah. mean it's 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 i mean that's that's as metrosexual as i will become as far as you know i'm not gonna put it on oh, my eyelash it. okay but my mustache you know i'm just trying to stay groomed all right, all right. I, see. I use magic shave okay you know i mean that's what i use to shave with okay. but um some people color their hair all the time why not i mean eventually I'll, you don't use nair no, no Nair, magic shave Nair. is a man. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Nair. Yeah. Now, now, h- what age group were you in, uh, young boy? You sound young. I uh, I missed the eighties, so I'm make up for it now. I'm 26. Okay. So you're 26. Okay, so that's a good age. Now you have a family. I mean, I don't. Not on my own. I got a mom. Okay, so you don't have you don't have kids or a wife or anything. Nah, nah, nah. Oh, good, nah. good, good. Now, I'm now. A, well, let me ask. Between. Okay, let me ask you a He's question. In between. You, you have friends. <laughs> Who are um, hysterical? Have you ever been depressed? Because uh, very much so. I'm a stand-up comedian, so kind of comes with the territory. Oh, it's time to play our game. All right, so Hilarious. you stand up. Where? So you doing stand-up in Jersey? Unfortunately, oh. that's okay. No, no, that's not unfortunate. That's for you. You putting your grind in, man. Twenty six is a great time. age, man. Twenty six is a great age for comedy. Okay. And and, um, and all you got to do is stay in line. Stay in line? Yeah. You got to t- stay in line, keep grinding, and, and, and know what you want to talk about. Okay. You know, and, and, and don't talk about what everyone else is talking about. Force yourself exactly. to talk about other stuff, which will make you funny. It'll make you better. Yeah. Just, That's right. You know, yeah. Just, and, then st- and, and be biographical. Because mm. then you, you really have no one touching your material. No one has grown up uh, with your name in, in Jersey and, and lived with your family. That's Bo Diddley, man. Bo Diddley. I was trying to figure it out, you know. So, Did he giggle? For, now, Bo Diddley, is that your real name? That is that your real name? No, it's not my real name. All right, that's your stage oh, name? No, my, it's, not, it's, it's my call-in name. Uh, okay, whatever. All right. Hilarious. Um, I think you get more mileage out of being yourself. Pretty much. Because the Bo Diddley is already worn out already. Mm. But much respect, Holmes. Stay in the game. I appreciate it. All right, peace. Bo Diddley in Jersey. Bo Diddley in Jersey. He sound funny. He had a rhythm. Yeah. He had a funny rhythm. Yeah. And I can give him that. Came in good. Yeah. You can't get mad at anybody that's in, in the same grind we're in. You know, so I, I'll give him his respect. You applaud him. Yeah, I applaud any young boy at 26 who has an idea of what he wants to do. Right. Was I got a birthday. Okay. Nick Saban. Alabama. Coach. Roll Tide. That it's boy is a bad boy. Bad coach. They're not doing Ohio State's number one, right? Yeah. Okay. Got another caller. Is this Bo Diddley's brother? Who's this? No, it's Chuck Farmer from Baltimore. Oh, Chuck Farmer from Baltimore B-Town. You know where Lexington Market is? I'm, yeah, I know where it is, unfortunately. Mm, home of the crab cakes. Chuck yeah, Farmer. crab cakes and crackheads. Oh? Oh, yeah, you know he over 30. He said crackheads. Yeah. Yeah. How old are you, Chuck? I'm 36. That's a good age, too, man. Yeah, that's I a good was age. on fire at that age. You have a family? Yeah, actually, I did. What you got? I have just got married, a wife, and I have a daughter. Oh, congratulations, oh, wow. man. If you don't mind, Chuck Farmer, what's his name? Oh, well, her name is... <laughs> He's trying to... This <laughs> dude. What's her name? Mrs. Uh, Farmer. Her name. her name is Mrs. Farmer. Oh, okay. Now, now, um, and, and you, uh, what, what do you do for a living, Chuck? Uh, I do a little bit of everything, but right now... I'm working on like I'm starting up a graphic design company. Oh, okay. cool! So he's got he's got that brain. He's done some stuff before in the past. It's great work. He's done. He's got oh, that brain. I wish I had yeah. that brain. That that brain. Now, um, he's done stuff for Rollout Radio too. Oh, yeah. cool. So, um, so Chuck, how how are you disciplined? Uh, actually, I was disciplined by my mother, and she was like no joke. But it's funny because it was just my mother by herself raising two sons. And she kind of babied us up until we were like 11 years old. Mm-hmm. She would come home from work, cook dinner every day, and then one day it just stopped. Oh wow! We had to provide for ourselves. We had to start washing our clothes, cooking our own food, and like she set us up and prepared us 
So, like, wow, a lot of our friends had people who, like, babied them and nursed us and then gave them everything they wanted. My mother just made us go out and do for ourselves in that sense. Mm. And that was adults. We are like, a lot better individuals on our own. Oh, that's great. That's great. I, I appreciate that, yeah, because we had to teach our kids how to wash clothes. Chuck and, Farmer. And, now, and, Chuck yeah. Farmer, can I ask, what was your favorite sandwich? Oh, peanut butter and jelly all day. Oh, wow. Now, was it was it crunchy or, or, or smooth peanut butter? Yeah. Uh, no, it's smooth. My brother ate crunchy. Oh, this dude right here. Your brother ate crunchy. What kind of jelly? Grape or, or strawberry? Uh, I'm black, man. Grape jelly all day. Oh, wow. <laughs> Did he get mad? Chuck said, yeah, I'm black, man. What's wrong? <laughs> hey, so, Chuck, um, you have you ever experienced depression? Oh, I mean, yeah, I think every young black man experiences a form of depression. Cause, I, mean, mm. you, I mean, you're growing up and you have, like, in the sense where, like, if you're, the, like, if you're a man living in a house with a woman, Mm. and raised by a woman, you kind of rebel and buck back, and you kind of feel like you're unappreciate, unappreciated. So, like, my mother would try to put responsibilities on me that I needed, but I didn't get it at the time that I needed them. So I kind of resented her growing up. But now, as you get older, you realize why it's important. So, I mean, I think every young black man goes through that. Mm-hmm. Now, do uh, you have friends that you, you, you talk with and right. you, you recognize what they're going through? How do you deal with that, if? Yeah, I mean, I still have, like, all the same friends that ever since we grew up together. So, like, we've all seen each other grow. We've had our bad times. Now we've transitioned out of that. We're all getting to adulthood, getting married, starting families. So, I mean, we can talk to each other right, about right. anything. What, was the tough, what has been the toughest transition going into being a family man with the wife and kids? Oh, wow. The fact that you like giving up everything that you used to, because like I was the first one to really get in a serious relationship before all of my friends. Oh wow! So like while they were still out, like going out, partying, and having a good time, I couldn't really do that anymore oh. because I had other responsibilities. But now that they're kind of catching up to me, I'm like the template for them mm. to show that you know we can do it together and we can feed off each other. So when one of my friends have an issue, we can talk about it. So. That's what I'm talking about. That's Chuck Farmer. That's Chuck Farmer. Much respect, yeah. Chuck. B-Town. Hey, man, uh, much respect to you and your family. You got a daughter, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Hey, man, front to back. Right. Uh, well, uh, she can wait herself. Yeah, all right, cool. How stare. Right. All right. <laughs> all right. <laughs> See, he knew what I was talking about. All right, all right. Hey, all right, man. Much love, man. Thank you for everything. Thanks right, for listening. Baltimore, home of the crab cakes. Chuck. See, Chuck knew right away. Yeah, Chuck Farmer. Time to take a break. That's what the lady said across the way. Mm. Fact Frida. All day long. During the late night. This is TDP. And Lou Dix, XY Chromosome. Hilarious. Night. <laughs> yeah, that was funny. We were just, <laughs> the break was funny. <laughs> TDP. Hysterical. You got, you know, TDP is the taskmaster. Where's your homework? Why don't you do no homework? And, um, and then Poe would have started throwing out homework. So, uh, Fact uh, Frida. Just to recap, uh, we want to thank uh, Aaron for calling. And who else called? Um, you tell me they called for uh, you. Bo Diddley. They yeah, you're getting a shirt. Oh, man, you jealous because you gave him a show. Aaron. Aaron called Bo Diddley. Who was the first cat? Chuck first Farmer. cat was Aaron. Chuck Farmer. And then Chuck Farmer. Farmer. Shout Chuck out Farmer. to all of them. Appreciate it. Baltimore. Yeah, we got strong three listeners. We're killing it. Shout out to X and Apollo Legend. Yeah, because we were still laughing about you talking about uh, I'm putting more people to sleep than Dr. Cosby and Lil Punk. That was funny. We're still okay. laughing at that a week later. That's what Poda came and said. Let's let's change the subject because Lewis is putting more people to sleep than, than um, and you, you know. But uh, what we were um, moving on. Uh, we're, and thanks for hanging out with us. We're in our second hour. In the late night. Yes. Uh, I'm Lewis Dix. I'm TDP. Yeah. That's how we do. You know. That's what Fact Frida told us to do with radio. Fact Frida. Yeah. Let the people know somebody just might be clicking on. So uh, we decided to talk about. Um, I, I have a, a little uh, lady that I've Same been... Same thing um, she said. Hilarious. A little lady that I've been... Actually, I haven't dated her. We, okay. Um, I, I met her when I, hmm? I saw her. When we went to dinner one time. But now we just started talking on the phone. Okay. So can I ask you guys, oh. uh-huh. uh, what constitutes a date? like a real date because some people just you know the, it's the jump off and then the girl thinks they're What's dating because they're that? just having sex but no, no, what I, do men consider dating all right you want to go first no 
A ladies, date for me is ladies first. Right? Hilarious, chump. A date for me is you. You've you've spoken about going out. You okay. have a, a you have a date that you're going to go out. This is the first date. No, I mean just a, a date. I mean you know, and once you get to a certain age, it's not really first date. It's just a date. You know, because you've dated before when you were young. But when you decide you're going to date, go out on a date, you you hopefully as a man have chosen the place. To go eat or go to a theater, okay. you know, or something like that. So a date is when you, you both get dressed. Mm. It's not casual. It's not. No, you put on clothes. You know, you mm-hmm. put on, you know, whatever you want to look decent in, and you you park. You get out of the car. You go eat. Okay, my go question to, to you: What was your sexiest first date? What, the outfit you had on it? I, I don't wear. I don't wear sexy outfits. No, you okay. felt sexy. I always feel sexy. I can oh, be in wow. sweats, and I, I'm I'm I sex is who I am. I am sexy. I am Louis Dix. So mm. my name is sexy, <laughs> Louis Dix. Da, 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 da. No, um, fact Frida. Um, so I'm with you. So um, I, I think you go out and you 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 have dinner. You know, okay. you you go to a movie or something or a play, and then you take her home to her house, and then you go home to your house. Okay, my question is. Should the date should food that she like or he like? Well, you discuss that You've, because nowadays people are allergic to stuff. So you got to see what you know. I was I asked the girl to go to mm-hmm. to eat, and she said, "I said, do you like seafood? No, I, I, Chinese food. Okay. Well, it better not be no 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 whack place." Uh, oh, okay. So I didn't even go out with her after that. Why like, not? Well, because that was ignorant statement. Okay. If you think I would take you to a whack place, then then we don't need to go. Okay, she's out. Now who's next? Well, I, I like I like. Um, I just like good restaurants. If I could, you know, there's always the the brand name, PF Chang, you know, or, okay. or a place that you might know about in, in your city. Okay. Every city has good restaurants. You know, it doesn't have to cost a lot. I'm not saying, you know, don't come out of your pocket. First date. You know, first date, you don't go crazy. Right. You know, you, you I mean, you can go to Red Lobster if, you, if the girl oh, likes wow. lobster. You know, you can go to, you know, I mean, you know, or you can, if you have a nice home. Okay. You know, you can invite her and cook for her. Would you do that? Yeah, oh, okay. if I had a nice home. You going to make her your hot wings? No, that, I, I usually say those hot wings for my kids. They like it. I don't Hilarious. think a girl would like my hot wings. No? No, I kind of make them. I on, like hot wings. I make oh, them on the it's ghetto. It's time to play our game. <laughs> I make them on the ghetto tip. But, um, mm-hmm. you we know, I can make some red spaghetti. Red Rooster hot sauce? Uh-oh. Yes, all day long. Yeah, I, I can make mm. good spaghetti, lasagna. Somebody want to come over, Lou. But, um... So I think a good date is when you he both like, get dressed. He ain't got no hot sauce, girl. I'm out. You can sit and have conversation while you eat. And, okay. Um, have a nice atmosphere. Mm. And then. Um, you take your shoes off? No. Depends unless you had a little Hilarious. place where you do that. You oh, know, okay. I like that place where they cook right in front of you. Uh, okay. What's that? That little Japanese place. You like that? Yeah, I forgot the name of it, but you forgot know. the name. Where well, they chop the food and flip the knife and Benihana. Yeah, 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 yeah. I like that. Okay, because I like steak. You know, and the steak. like the grill. Yeah, you know. I mean, Roscoe's is a good date if you're out in Cali. No, that's not a good date. Not a first date. Not a good first date. You're right. You're See, right. is she a big girl like Speedy's girls? Wow, taking one big date. Okay. But um, so why? What about you? First date, like you said, you know, you want to have a nice dinner, you know. Preferably to drive through on a first date. <laughs> that way you get to know her. <laughs> See what she about, huh? Right. Do you bring out the coupon? Exactly. Dollar do you, menu. Do you park to eat? No, we're going to go around twice because we're going to get dessert. <laughs> you're, you're, that's ridiculous. That's not ridiculous. That's a first date. That's a hood date. That's a first date. You do not take a girl you really like on a... Oh, you a, really like? That's marriage. Okay. But, you know, I mean, first dates, uh, I don't think you spend a lot of money on first dates. It's interesting because, like, what I'm with you. the conversation should be first date, should be getting to know. Okay. You know, open in questions so she can not yes or no. So you mm. question them, she can answer them. Um, it's always good to remember to pay attention. Okay. You know. Um, remember her name. Excuse me. Just remember things that she's, that's, you know, I mean, what she does. Okay. And what she cares about, you know, what's important to her. You know, from mom or dad or around. You know, I always ask a question, which oh, here we go. It's an awkward question. Like, I always ask, "What's the last book you've read?" That's important to me. That's your home run. No, it's just important to me. I just want to know what you're reading. I just want to know what's, what, what your thought said, process is. Is that before the salad or after the salad? That's on the way. On the way. So okay. it gives you time to think about it. Mm-hmm. You know, because okay, I've thought about what book I've read. So okay. you know, but um, 
you know, and then and then you look at how she's dressed. Right. That's always important. She's got a lot of cleavage out and all that stuff. You don't want that? Oh, no, I'm not, I'm not mad at cleavage. Hmm? I mean, I just, just tell me a little bit about yourself. Also, how you chew. Okay. You chew with your mouth open, and, you know, if you don't know how to order. You don't like that? No, it just lets me know where I am with you, okay? I don't want, I, no, you nasty with your mouth all open. Wow. You know, I mean, and uh, what's this? Back you Frida. Know, you know, what's this? I don't know, that's nasty, you know, all that kind of stuff. You know, and um, it's okay. Is it cool for a woman to send it back one time? Her food? Yeah. Well, that's on her. Okay. I'm, I'm, look, I know what I want. I have, I have trouble. The one thing I do, I do hmm? with the woman. You I do do. No, I, I hilarious. <laughs> I have, tr- <laughs> I have trouble figuring out the tip. So I will ask a woman to do that. That's a little gauge to see where she is. Okay. You will ask. Your her date to, to tip? figure out the t- no no to figure out that's what he said the first sign, time. no to to figure out the tip for me like I'm gonna sign the, the thing and I pay for it but typically if you don't know they double the tax right but I just like the gauge to see where she is you know if she can figure it out if she knows math yeah or just if she knows how to tip or if she's been you know if she I ain't doing this why you know stuff like that answers I like that I don't even think a girl like that would get that far with you to a restaurant. Because oh, I wow. think you'd know when you first meet that person if she's like, I don't know, you know. Well, some of them are good at faking it. So, you know, kind of like the environment, they slip. I'm with you. You know, because they can, they can, they, they all can mask and they can, you know, everyone has a presentation. Right. It's just once you're in the presentation, then it's, you can see if they, you know, cross their T's and dot their I's. Right. Mm. You know, it's like, because girls know that You have game. some pretty high standards, Lou. No, no, I mean, just little things Why that I Why your voice got high? <laughs> you know what? Just little things that, not high standards, just consistent ones, I call them. Well, mm. there's nothing wrong with that. You know, I mean, I'm, I'm, I, I, um. Hmm? You know, like if she orders, um, like I went out to lunch with the girl and she ordered, it was a Chinese restaurant, okay. this girl. And um, she, she, and her, her, she, her mom came. Okay. And that was cool. I was cool with that. But the girl just kept ordering too much stuff. I was like, why is she ordering all this? I was cool. I never went out with her again. Okay, did the mom order something? Did she take stuff home? Like yes, I told her leftovers. to. Leftovers. Yeah, I said, please take some, because she had a son that was like 17. I was like, hey, you should take him that. But did the mom order Maybe too? that's why she ordered all that. I, I don't I, just, I didn't like her. You didn't like her? No. Because she ordered too much stuff. No, she just was, <laughs> one, she had a wig on, and she kept wow. scratching it, and it kept moving. Mm. And it just bothered me. It was like, oh, you know, wow. I was like, how tacky is that? You didn't even tape it down all the way. <laughs> You know, hysterical. So, so you know, I mean, it's like little stuff like that. You know, so like, that little, it kept. A, if you saw it, you. I mean, because she had a part in the middle. I, I'm with you. And she kept scratching it, and, and it the kept part moving. Yeah, and it kept moving, and I'm like, you know, as a comic, you know, I'm like, I, right, I'm gonna talk about this at another time, but I'm gonna remember this. Okay. But you know, and and. But my question to you was: It shaking like a salt shaker? It was. It was unnecessary. Her mother was more interesting than her. Did she order? No, mom was mom. I think they had a thing going on because mom was like, I don't know what to get. I don't know what to get. Oh, okay. But I was like, they playing me. You know? Oh, wow. And, and it, it was okay. And why did she decide to bring her mom? It was a lunch. And I had said, hey, let's was have her lunch. Mom her mom town? was in town visiting okay, her. that makes sense. So she said, hey, well, my mom was like, all right, no problem. And and, and that was cool. Yeah. Um, um, do, you, should, do you think a girl should, does the man pay on the date? First I'm going date. through the drive through So if she wants something, <laughs> I'll take care of it at the window. <laughs> I think it's on the person who sets up the date. So if the girl says, let's go to dinner. Then the girl should pay. Fact Frida. That's what I think. If I invite a guy. But most guys w- will refuse to exactly. let the girl pay. Right. Exactly. So you that's a gauge, too, to see if. You know, if he's if he's down like that. Yeah. Now, how many dates do you think you should go on before you expect? Like I, I was a girl told me she doesn't kiss on the first date. OK, that's fair. But that's I'm going to say in, in agreement with you that knowing how much the tip is for her is a nice gauge. That's, that's a nice gauge. Yeah. It's yeah. my little thing. But I'm going to do that in the drive through. 
<laughs> you don't give. You it don't to tip in the drive. Oh, I'ma hide the screen so she can't see the price, and then ask you what the. Yeah, they tell you the price in the speaker. <laughs> Fact, Frida. They no. tell you the price. That'd be, be seven ninety five. That's a great first day for me. Well, you're excited because you can order breakfast all day now at your. I've family. never had that. Never had breakfast all day. No. Okay. No. But um, where uh, my question was um, because I, I, Poetus was asking, it was, I thought that was interesting too. Do you how many dates before Fact you meet freedom. the kid? How many dates before you meet the kid? Never. Never? No. What about the parents? Yeah, you can meet them, but not the kids. Not the kids? Yeah. How long before the kid can call you daddy? <laughs> <laughs> After the third Christmas. <laughs> That's, That's it. it. After the third Christmas. That's it. I don't I don't I mean it's a lot of stuff that goes on with you know, how how long before you have sex? Nowadays, right kids, away. Yeah, so I'm saying nowadays these, these young people give it up right away. You yeah. don't even have to take them. You like you right. You go through the drive through the second time. You are getting some. We getting dessert. No, we're gonna get dessert. Whereas my my boy says this young boy, he says he gets dome. Dome. Yeah, I, I didn't know what that was till he. So is, is that like being all on the jaw? Yeah, you get some dome. Oh, he's wow. like, he, one time I told him we went on a date. He's like, did you get some dome? I was like, what is? Then I figured it out. Oh, you figured it out. Yeah, dome is getting. Your I like dome. lettuce. You like what? Lettuce. Lettuce? Yeah. Is that? That's called head. Oh, okay. So, so fellas, um, fellas, let me ask you a question out there. Throw it out to you. Hilarious. Uh, how much do you have a budget on your first date? And how much is too much? Oh, okay. How much is too much? On a first date. On a first date. And do you expect, what do you expect on that first date if you spend over... Fifty dollars. Mm. How much is? I don't know. Poetus, you're a female. What? What? How much should a guy spend on on the date? I um. It doesn't really matter. It just. It's all about the experience mm. and enjoying the actual date. So if we were like to go hiking or something, I guess it wouldn't cost anything. Mm. Uh, that's a cool date. That's free. Okay. And you see if the girl's in shape. Okay. How about this? You take two girls out on the boat. <laughs> Oh, that's from back then. That's I'm I'm not a boat person. I get oh, okay. seasick. That's fair. So I couldn't even go. You know, I, I'm not a good boat. A patch doesn't even work with me. So gotcha. I'm, not a, I'm a land guy. Yeah. I like the land, but two girls sound nice. Yeah. I've never had that experience. Just, what? You gonna sit here and tell that lie, Lou? Oh, uh, I've never had two women. Yeah, he is lying if you say that. Fact, Frida. Yep. Uh huh. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Well. Arr, okay. Arr. You're uh, in the late night, TDP. Louis Dix getting caught. <laughs> Louis Dix getting caught. Back Frida. Uh, damn, she locked that down quick. So, um, it's a great experience. I don't know why you're so shy about it. Uh, you know, just playing, I don't know. Just playing that. I mean, I, I don't know. You, mm. you, you, oh, you, you are more of a... Uh, Louis, are you a closet freak? Oh, wow. Really? Answer the question. All day long. Mm. Um, hey, I locked that door. It's on. You locked the door? Wow. Well, yeah. Why you do that? Because I'm always worried about somebody coming in. You don't lock the door? For what? No. I put all both locks on, oh. top and bottom. Oh, wow, really? Yeah, man. What are you changing into? <laughs> <laughs> I play, you know, I, I'm cool huh? like that because I roll with a towel. A towel? Yeah, I roll with the terry cloth towel. Okay. I got one of those, you know. Why Terry Claw? No, you know, the, you know the little towels that that, that 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 got the Velcro. It's old school. Okay, you know, it's old, old school. Old school towel. Yeah, it's kind of like a mini towel. <laughs> so you got a mini dress towel. Yeah, yeah. Hilarious. But hey, hey, it ain't mini when it come off. But that's mm. enough of that. Um, that's enough of that. Uh, no, wait a minute now. What? So you're a closet freak. You lock the doors. No, I I know what I wanted to talk about. Hilarious. I know what I want to talk about. This girl that I'm talking with, I've been talking to for about... Um, the one you haven't been on the first date yet? No, but I've been talking to her for about a good month now. Oh. We've been on the phone. And I like her, and oh, I think I like her. But last night she asked me to um, take a survey. Did you do it? No, I haven't done it yet. Yet? But... Um, it's a love language profile for singles. Now, first so I did. Wait, first of all, are you truly single? Yes, I'm single. So you're gonna take the survey? No, but here's the thing. Oh, here I we was, go. I didn't. I told her no at first, 
And she got into all this stuff about, well, why not? I just want you to take it so we'll know how to communicate or whatever. Wow. And I, I just... But and, that's almost like... At, like it's a different approach to what you mentioned earlier about yeah. asking about what kind of books they read or stuff like that. So you're just orally doing the same thing. Wow. Okay. Now, I, okay, I'll give you that. But and so I'm not asking you to take a survey. Maybe in a written form. Right. But and then I read this thing. It was like the the five love languages profile will give you a thorough. And okay, analysis so what are some of the of questions? Your emotional communication preference. What your is, emotional communication preference. Your it's too emotional much. communication what preference. What the fuck does that that's even mean? That's what I'm saying. It's just she's like that. She's putting too much in on it. No, okay. but did, she didn't write that actual question. She got it from a survey, right? right? So it will ask single, that question. It will single I don't even know what that primary, means. Your primary love language what it means and how you can use it to connect and deepen your relationship with others. Okay, my question to you is how many love languages? Okay. So is that a sh uh, short way of asking how do you prefer to communicate emotionally? I mean... I want to know about the love languages. How many I don't languages? get it. I did. I just... I got a problem. Like, see, you were okay. saying, I asked that question for me. Mm -hmm. But now you are asking me to take a survey. Okay. From someone, these questions, I feel like these, me answering these questions are not going to tell you about me. I should, you just ask you me. You know what, you're absolutely right, because she should not judge you on a score. Is oh, there wow. some score? Right, I'm assuming it is. My thing is, talk to me, listen to me, see what's because consistent no about me. Because no matter what you write on that paper, it may not be accurate. You might just be writing any old thing. The true mm. test is spending time. Time, and that's how I feel. I'm like, if you can't get these answers from building a relationship with me i mean that's what's so fake nowadays it's you know and she's 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 younger than me and I, have, I have a question yeah how many questions how much younger she's about eight years younger than me okay. so i got a problem there so how many questions on the test i don't know it's, it's supposed to take it says 10 to 15 minutes i didn't take because they oh, want wow. my name my last name my email address and it says my gender my age well you don't have to put for that and you know what, man? Be quiet. I, I tried to skip and go right to start, but it wouldn't do anything. Oh, okay. I guess you got to fill that out. And you got to download the whole th I'm just, I got issues with all this. So are you afraid you're going to score low? No, because uh, the thing about a survey, you can you can lie about that unless you're taking it right in front of her. We know that, but are you, do you want to be honest with it? But you don't know the first question. And she said that she had, her daughters took it. Okay. So she could learn how to find out their emo like she was saying that some people are huggers some people are communicators you know and all that and I'm like that's what you find out when you when you when you you talk to mm -hmm. people you go out with them when you date somebody right you don't you don't put me in a survey it's just so so it's kind of like yeah so that's kind of lame so unnecessary yeah that is kind of lame so it kind of turned me off okay fact free I'm with that and um so I, I really she's supposed to be coming out here in three weeks. Oh, okay. So, um, her daughter's doing something with with some kind of show, and she's supposed to come out, and she want. Oh, and that was another thing. Then she asked me last night too if I would come over to her family's for Thanksgiving out here, mm. and I was like, no. no. She's like, why not? Our family's cool like that. We because to me, the thing about Thanksgiving is always that one person that no one knows that someone invited. It's your turn. Or so. you're the date, so they won't. Ask, you know, think she's not dating anybody. Whatever. And I'm just, I'm like, no, because she's got like a. a okay. I think it, it might be a bit too soon for you to be having things. That's how I feel. Like, Aww. have you, went, how, how many times have you seen her in person? I've seen her twice. Wow. Once Over out here and once what in Atlanta. Period of time. Mm -hmm. First time I saw her was maybe four years ago. Mm. Oh wow! What? And then you seen her a few years later. And then I saw her a few years later in oh, Atlanta. Oh my God, that does not count. And then, um, and then recently, we've been talking right, for right. about a month, mm. consistently. Mm -hmm. Mm. You know, I don't want to talk every day, so I don't call every day. She might call me, but I won't answer, mm. and I'll wait till the next day because it's a three-hour time difference, so that mm. works for me. Right, okay. right. But I, I just, you mm. know, I, I'm I'm ready to to meet someone. But I don't know. If I think you need to meet somebody more your age. But 
I've always dated older, so I've dated guys six, seven years older than me. But so I'm all, I've always been mature. And so she's in this. But, <laughs> Lewis, you probably need somebody that's a youthful mm. woman in your I tried that, and she was crazy. Age group. You knew that. I don't know nothing. You can't base that on all women, though. Okay. Because all right. A woman called me the other night. What's his name? Man, shut <laughs> up, man. I was tripping. She called me, and it was a booty call. Oh. Wow. How yes, did you I take gotta, that? I, it was very interesting hmm? because she was like, oh, hey, Luz, I figured you'd only want to be up. And she was coming from a time. Oh, my God. You were last choice. <laughs> Oh, that's cold, Pote. She said, I think you'd be the only one up. So no, to say I, I that her other prospects. Excuse me. Fact Frida and Apollo Ledger. <laughs> no, I don't think it was. I, let me rephrase it. She said, I. I no, I, why I, you got to rephrase it? I, <laughs> figured, I figured you'd be up. So I'm I'm going to take it as if I wasn't last choice. All right. Okay, so that, I figured you'd be up. Okay. Yeah, I figured you'd be up. That's cold. That's cold. I, I, I hear what you're saying clearly. I hear it too. Yeah, I, I hear what you're saying. You're making a, a lot of sense there. But I'm going to take it with my ego saying that I was <laughs> I was the first dial. I wasn't the seventh dial. Like because probably she felt her others were asleep at yeah. that time. And what time was it? It was about ten thirty. Uh, no, it was about eleven o'clock. Ooh, mm. that's dangerous. <laughs> It was about 11. She was coming from a Tyler Perry play, she said. Okay. Oh, so how do you feel about a woman calling you for a booty call at 11 o'clock at night? Well, that was, okay, I, I didn't realize it was a booty call at first. Let me mm. tell you how I, I figured it out. Oh, what do you think she was calling you for? <laughs> a recipe? Right. <laughs> <laughs> no. Lewis, how you so, make a butt cake? Oh, well, let me get up. <laughs> You were stupid, man. Um, what did you think she was calling for? I, okay, at first, I, I thought she was just calling to say hi. Oh. Then she said, um, well, I really didn't want to go home, and I was just mm. wondering if you wanted to meet and have a drink. And I was like, you know, and I just got in from the comedy club. Okay. So, you know, and I, so I was getting undressed. Oh, wow. Here we go. No. <laughs> And his terry cloth. Uh, I haven't put my towel. terry cloth towel on. But and here's the thing. Towel. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. I was I was about to become romantic with myself. So that was oh, fun. he's about to oh. light the candles. Yeah, I saw that that thing. That was so funny. <laughs> <laughs> so it was. I was I was feeling myself. So it was very. Oh my God, did you put on Beyonce? No, it was it was very awkward. Actually, I had on Nancy Wilson and, and the Marvin Gaye stuff. So I was setting it up. Hysterical. It was so funny because I was like. Fact Frida. And I actually said, well, should I eat first? <laughs> wow. Take yourself to dinner? Yeah. <laughs> okay, waiting. This is the kitchen. So, oh, wow. So. So it was very so then when she called, I was like, Oh hey, so then um so then she said, um I was and I was like, No, well, I, I'm it's really terrible. not coming out. I'm not going you know, I am not gonna be Oh, it's me for a drink. Right. You know, and I'm not I'm in your neighborhood. Mm. Mm. And so and I'm like <laughs> so I'm now I'm thinking, I'm like, Okay, so now I'm thinking, wow, it's a this is the call. That's so terrible. I tried to get bold. Oh wow. I said, um I said, Listen, you know why you calling me. You know why you calling me. Whoa. You know, you just Whoa. you just want some, right? No, I was just really wanted to just say hello and spend some time. She sound like that? Yeah, that's wow. what she sound. Louis, you that was a, not a good move. Oh, what you saying? You just want something or whatever? Yes, I was you jumped like, right into it too soon. Well, hey man, I was just like yeah, no. I was like, listen, listen. You should have just said come through. No, this is what I did. I said, listen. I said, listen, you I'm, fact free. I'm going to text you my. I said, I'm going to text you my address, Ooh. and you can come on through. Oh, nice. And, okay, but. After you told her you want this dad. That's right. Straight up. Because that's what she wants. I was like, no, ain't no pushing, no, no cutting, no Because if it was a guy, right. we would have been reversed when they come at us like that. Right, right. You know you know what you want. You know you call me. How dare you call me? So that's how I felt. Oh. Like, all right, listen, you know. <laughs> so and my you jaw was like, like, my, my jaw was <laughs> what? My neck like that. Fact free. <laughs> She's killing me. <laughs> so, so I said. So I was like, I was like, so hey, I'm gonna text you my address, right? right? And you right. come if you want. So, so I texted my address. Okay. So, so because you was already kind of halfway in the mood, you was right. right. So I'm yeah, like, all right, let me see what happens, home. right? So, so sure enough. Okay. So, um, but then I, you know, I, I had to clean up because I was like, because <laughs> you know, you had the baby oil. <laughs> <out of> the <laughs> <shit>. <laughs> Where's my top? <laughs> Lewis, 
just laughing because he know it's true. <laughs> I can't find my top. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> I can't find my top, and you know you need the top to the baby oil. You can't just sit that down somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> Why your TV all sticky? <laughs> I'm laughing because I don't use baby oil. That's cold. Lotion. The hotel lotion. I use a little bit. Of wow. Because <laughs> it's so it's so liquidy. The little <laughs> so, so, so moist. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you cleaned up. So I, you know, I, wait a minute. <laughs> Hysterical. <laughs> So, so I, like the little bottle. So yeah, the little bottle. So I, I'm hitting, the, you know, my pillows with Febreze, you know. So. Oh wow, Febreze. <laughs> yeah, because because you don't change your sheets. No, I yeah, just it that's was what it was. no, I just wanted. I didn't want it to smell like another woman. No, it's like you men. Know, yeah, you know. So I was hitting the Febreze. <laughs> so then and then I had to hysterical kind of like Febreze. Yeah, mm-hmm. I had to move some boxes. So, so you was so. humping the pillows and you no. wanted to get the evidence <laughs> off. <laughs> y'all be quiet. Don't y'all say nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just asking. So you had your house cleaned in like ten minutes. Yeah, actually, yeah, yeah I, I, I hooked it up. You know, I lit the candles. Oh wow! Oh, um, because I the hadn't candles got, you were gonna light for. Yeah, I was gonna light them anyways, but I, I hit the candle in the bathroom. Sorry, guys. It, it, <laughs> I'm gonna have to call an audible on this one. <laughs> So. Operation hand down, hand down operation, <laughs> <laughs> operation, <laughs> operation hand down. Oh god, uh, I don't even know why I started this. Copy. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, okay, so you cleaned your house up. So I hit the candles. I lit the candles. Hysterical. So, all right, it's then smelling I smelling good. You hit the Febreze. So, I, so then I had to wow. check the stereo because I got like okay. a five CD stereo. So I had now, to make sure the, the right music, CDs were in it. Now, did you have wine or no? Because because I'm like no, because I'm figured she was at the place. She already had a drink, okay. so mm. I just had some lemonade. So I went and got okay. some lemonade. So, um, so then I, uh, <clears throat> so now I'm like I'm waiting. Okay. And so I get the text. Now I'm downstairs. Mm. So I'm, I'm like, all right. So I, I go downstairs and. And and then she parked in, in the red. I was like, no, you can't park there. Mm-hmm. Well, I'm only going to be a minute. No. Oh, wow. Oh. <laughs> so I'm like, no, no, you need to park over there. You ain't going to be a minute. You need to park over there. Yeah. So she parked over there, and then I... Okay, three minutes. <laughs> <laughs> three minutes. So, and so I... I, I Turn your hazard lights on. So, so I... I <laughs> so I, I walked to her car, I get her, and she got this nice black dress on. Oh, yeah, with the heels. So I'm like, mm. so we we walking. Oh wow! Back to the joint. So she reparked the car. Yeah, she reparked okay. the car, and so and I had my cutoff shirt. So I, oh uh, wow! Yeah, your so. midriff. <laughs> <laughs> when you say your cutoff with your sleeves, my tank top, yeah, or no, was sleeves. it a no, not sleeves. above your belly button? No, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I had my shirt tied up. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, I had my sleeveless shirt sure. on, so my guns were out. Oh wow! So oh, you know, wow. and then I had my shorts. So your shorts? Yeah, I just threw some shorts on. Did you have some underwear? No, my joint was just like oh, it was oh, wow. My joint was sticking out. I was like, I felt so embarrassed. No, you. Oh, didn't. you felt embarrassed. Well, yeah, Why? it looked weird walking across the street with joint. Oh, okay. Yeah, so then, so we get upstairs. So mm. now my chase. So, so, mm-hmm. I, you know, turn the music on and you oh, know, here we go. Yeah, so I close those. So then we. She's like, I just want to just lay here and just, you know, just cuddle if that's okay. And okay. So I'm like, cool. So we lay in a chase. And, you know. And then Beyonce Wait, is that came the on. the same chase from yeah. your divorce? Yes, yes, same chase. So <laughs> In the sound room. <laughs> so. Did so, you Febreze that? Yes. Oh, oh yeah, wow. Yeah, 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 yeah. Took a whole bottle. So um, so I'm, I'm we lay in a chase and we're talking, so. So she's, you know, she's stroking my arms and stuff. So she's talking. We're talking. And so just, so how was your day? It was okay. cool, cool. So we talking. So so now I'm stuck. Why are you stuck? Because now it's awkward time for me because I really. You like her? No, I realized I didn't like her. Oh, uh, okay. That's, uh, well, yeah. So it was just my loins talking. That's why I asked. So we talking. So now I'm trying to get out of this. Okay. Trying to get down, so we laying there talking. So then my jaw takes over. Oh wow! So I'm, you know, I'm trying to fight it. So then, wow! So then she puts her thigh over my leg, and 
And she then she goes with, it's hot in here. Oh. Okay. That move. Oh. It's hot in here. Yeah, she got you ready. So I'm like. Do you have a t-shirt I can put on? Was that the next? No, she just said, I, I, I want to come out of this dress. Mm. Oh. Would you unzip it? Mm. Oh, wow. So I unzip it. So then she says, I'm so embarrassed. My bra and panties don't match, so I'm going to take the bra off. <laughs> well, I got one you can wear. <laughs> <laughs> Do men care about that? No, that's what no. I'm saying. I'm like, I'm like this girl is, she's, you know, it, to me right. it was like she took over. I'm with you. And I, you know, I'm getting a little offended because I'm like, I'm supposed to be doing this. Right. So she laying up with, no, just her panties. I got you. On me. So I'm like, so she's like, aren't you hot in your shirt? Oh wow. So I'm like, no, I'm good. Mm. So no, take your shirt off. So I take my shirt off. Oh, your hair is your chest has hair. Oh wow. So she now, wait a minute. made her smooth. This is the funny part. She tries to rub her hand to get caught. You know, oh, click, wow. click, that shit hurts. <laughs> she was it, untangling it. Oh, the, my God. So I'm like, shit. <laughs> I'm, oh, excuse me, I cursed. <laughs> so, and then she smooths it out as she's going through. So so now I'm like. So she combed your chest. Yes, more or less. So I'm like. <laughs> combed your chest. So Just I'm like, it. at that point, I'm like, you know, hey, listen. And then I said the dumbest thing. What did you say? It's getting there? late. It's getting late. Operation Hand back on. <laughs> oh my Operation God. Hand all battle stations. <laughs> so you was putting her out. Yes. Oh. I said, you know, I didn't listen. To did you put her dress back on? Did you help her with that? Yeah, she put it back on. She got a little offended. Oh, okay. Yeah, that would. Uh, I'd feel pretty offended too. Mm, in fact, free. So we. She put her dress back on and brought back on, and then she. We laid there for a little bit longer, and we listened to because um, India Ari was one of her. She liked India Ari. So oh, yeah, I love She was beating around the bush too much for one thing. She didn't have to do all that. Ooh, it's hot in here. Fact, Frida. Right. She should have been caressing you and put her hand down she there. She already combed his chest. <laughs> and right. then took off her dress later. She was, oh, it's hot. That's so lame. How old is she? She, 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 hmm? she's old. Well, she had a body. She's a bad mama jammer. No, she, she's up my age. She but we, she but you guys she, are grown. She, 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 you yeah. both know what you're there for. Right. You know, she's calling you at 11 o'clock at night. It's no game plan. Right. So, I mean, I was a little... So, so is that what turned you off? Yeah, because it just wasn't, you know... It wasn't I authentic. Felt, yeah, and I felt a little, you know, just put off on it. And, but, you know, and she had that wine breath. But, really? you know, it seems like any little thing could turn you off. Wine breath? Who says that? She can have a one hair out of her eyebrow out of place. So, know. but I felt, and after she left, I felt so dumb because I, I really wanted, after she left. Oh, wait, you really wanted it. Yeah, after she left, I was like, damn, man. So I was like, man, I should have told her, you You're know. so temperamental. Yeah, I was tripping. I was like, I'm going, I'm not going to get something. <laughs> so what you say, Teeter, Operation what? <laughs> Operation Hand On. <laughs> Everyone at Battle Stations. <laughs> yeah, yeah, more or less. Hotel lotion activate. <laughs> Hotel lotion activate. Hey, okay, man. so what did you do after that, Lewis? You're in the what? late night. Uh, I just, you know, I, I watched some Criminal Minds. Oh wow! <laughs> after you know, took care of my business. Mm. Watched some Criminal Minds. That was quick. So wow. You know, but uh, hey, that's how it goes. Next time she call, I'm not going. Oh, next time? Well, you know, <laughs> probably, she probably will not call, call you next again. time. You I don't think, think so? If a guy did that, I would not call. She me. called me the next day to apologize about oh, what? Wow. For calling me so late and embarrassing me, she mm. felt I embarrassed. She felt she embarrassed me mm. by being so forward. She wasn't forward enough. Oh, that's what oh I excuse me! Wow. <clears throat> no, I mean, I just think she should have. Before she even took off any of her clothes, she should have had him already aroused. She wow. should have gave me some dome. <laughs> you should have put her head down there. No. <laughs> See how strong, wow. no, See how strong her neck was. <laughs> That's a test. That's a <laughs> you were given tests, I mean. <laughs> well, now, with that, that's a great one, Fact Freedom. Would that be on your survey? <laughs> what? How yeah. strong her neck strong is. Her neck, how, how strong your neck is. Hey, man, you, man, hey, as a man, you, you better. Did you text her that? No, but as a man, you, you, we know how strong our neck better be. No, I'm asking a question. What? Would you text her that for your survey? 
How strong oh, is Larry, your dad? the girl that sent me the survey. Right. No, and that, that's what's interesting. This girl who I'm asking. You know, it's funny because she's she was abused by her her ex husband. Oh, so she was married already. Yeah, <clears> and <throat> she's um, the girl that I, I'm that I've been talking to. Right, right. And she's into um, she has this foundation on domestic violence. Okay. So I'm kind of leery. Oh. You know, anyway, because. Y'all ain't going to make it. I'll just make it simple for you. Why right you say now. that? Because I could tell already, because you're too mm, picky. Frida. So once she gets out here and you guys hook up, you're going to find something that you don't like mm. about her. And she's real religious, too. Yeah. Are, oh, but wow. are you? No, I like okay. God. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that's, then that's going to be a problem. Mm. Because. She, you guys aren't in, on the same page. We're not that. equally yoked. No, right. you're as not. they say. Well, I mean, I'm not. I, I mean, think, that, and then you know how we. Well, I remember, you know, back mm-hmm. in the day when you talk to somebody on the phone, you kind of make up this image of this person, right? And you're in love with that image because you don't know the person well enough to really like them. Mm. No, I agree with you because she's always talking about I need a man because she'll ask me what I have for dinner or that. You need a woman. You need a woman to, oh, wow. mm. to cook for you. You need it. You know. And of, you are not turned off. You, a woman telling you what you need. Oh no, that's no, a, I mean, no, no. And you're right. Lewis it is Dick. a different. It is oh, a different fact. Freedom. Talking to her on the phone is is easier. You know, to having the conversation because I know I don't have to see her, right? See or deal with there her. There it is, and and I just you know, I okay. know, I I can tell. And plus, she's you know, her daughter. She has three more years with the daughter. Right? You say you don't want to deal with that. That's fair. You need to get with a woman whose kids are already grown, because you always, I don't know if you use that as a crutch not to get close to that person, oh, but wow. normally. You're always like they need to focus on their kids. So you probably need somebody that kids are already grown, so you can focus on each other. No, and I, 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 I um, hmm? I actually, <laughs> man, come on now, Jeremiah. No, that's true because I do say, I, 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 girl, you know, I, I. <laughs> <laughs> it's too right. Also, well, birthday sex. <laughs> hey, listen, let's get back to uh, men. We're in the late night. I'm Lewis Dix. I'm Did TV you read P. all the tips on your card there? Um. Well, here, here's the thing about, we, we talked about, let's recap. Recap. Is that cool? Is that cool? <laughs> yeah, because yeah. we got about 10 minutes. All right, let's recap. Let's recap. Recap. So we'll start from the bottom, go up to the top. Your choice. So, well, first of all, let's talk about the top. We talked about the young lady who was, was in school. Slam the child on the hard concrete. And we talked about, you know, disciplining kids. Right. And how, um, you know, the manners are gone. and Right. They're not afraid of authority, mm-hmm. you know. But as Aaron was saying, yeah. that they Detroit kids want they want you know you to to, to parent them. They mm-hmm. want discipline, yeah. and I agree with that. I think yeah. they do. I, I think agree with that as well. All of us, you know, want someone to help us get better. Right. And and young people have this facade mm-hmm. that you know they're tougher, they're stronger, right. and. You know, like the young boys that think they're hard, as soon as they get sentenced, they start crying. Yeah, that's a whole nother beast. Shout yeah. out to Suge Knight. Right. Yeah. Hey, well. You know. <laughs> right, and that's so funny you say that because now whenever I see somebody that look like Suge Knight, I'm not afraid because I know he's in jail. <laughs> really? <laughs> to excuse? <laughs> so, you know, he's like, before you didn't know if it was him, so you'd be scared. Okay, but, my question to you, when your shirt comes in the mail, mm-hmm. will you take old girl out on a date in your shirt? The girl that's coming out here, right? No, I, I, I'll wear. Can you her. wait that long to get if you see if you really like her or not? When is she coming out here? She'll be out here in, in, around Thanksgiving, November twentieth through the twenty seventh, twenty eighth. Okay. And I get back from Boston the twenty third. Right. So we plan to see each other. Um, but you're not going week. to Thanksgiving dinner. You rather? Make I I really on don't want to. Ground? I don't want to. Just like I told her, I didn't want to take the survey, but I feel like. I don't know. I kind of like her, but mm. I kind of like her, but I don't. I didn't appreciate the survey thing. I understand. And I didn't. I really didn't appreciate when she said, because I made a t- statement about, I'm looking forward to kissing you. I don't kiss on the first date. Well, she was just letting you know. Well, you know. I hurt your feeling. Yeah, because we've oh. been talking. Yeah, because I, I wouldn't have said that. 
Oh, okay. I would have just waited till see what the what the vibe is like. Because I asked her, I said, you know, I'm and just, plus you guys have been out before, right? Right. So it wouldn't be a first date. Right. And that's what I was saying. I was saying. I was saying. Hey, listen. I I I'm just trying to. I, I said, I really don't, I haven't dated, so I said, I really don't know, do you, you know, my generation, we ask if you, we could kiss a girl. Right. So that's how I presented it to her. I said, right. so I don't know if I need to ask you or just try to kiss you. I don't kiss on the first date. I'm going to say, you know what? Mm. Bitch. Yeah, it's just oh, like, wow. you know, why are you going to say that to, you know, then you're going to ask me to take a, a love language conversation, you know, you but you're going to ask me to take a, a survey. You, you want to, you have these. I'm with you. You know, just. So as a man, you're not letting me be a man oh, in that wow. respect. You're coming out here to visit me. We're gonna hang out. We're trying to get together. So I, I don't, I don't trust her in that respect. Oh, okay, so that means no kiss, no ass either. Yeah, that was one thing I was thinking about. Was like, yeah, okay. She ain't gonna kiss you, Shannon. Right. Oh wow. But what if she's like, I'd prefer if we wait till marriage. Mm, right. That's a problem. Is that what she? That's a problem. Yeah, because she might not be good. So has she said that to you? No, she oh. hasn't. We haven't talked about it. I mean, I'm sure she's, like I said, she's heavy religious. and she's sanctified. And, yeah. and and. So you want her to be experienced? <clears throat> I'm sure she's already experienced. She had two kids, and her husband used to beat her. Oh, okay. So I'm sure she's mm-hmm. experienced. I'm Baggage, just, red flag. No. Right. I agree with you. I, I agree with you. I mean, I can't even raise my fucking huh. That's why she having you take a survey. And it must have been uh, very traumatic if she even has a foundation. Right. And, and, and the daddy's not in the kid's girl's life. Right, right, right. You know, and he's a principal, mm-hmm. you know, and she, you know. I, I Come don't on know. now. Choices. Everybody got choices. Yeah. Mm. So, I mean, I'm like, you know, so I, I need to, you know, again, I, I'll go back to, with all due respect, what Zoe used to say about Captain Sava. Oh, or something like oh, that. Oh, that's uh, that's E forty. Oh, is that he got that? Yeah. So I'm, I'm. Yeah, you late. My fault. But I, I that's what I'm and saying. And incorrect. Okay. Oh, excuse me, <laughs> fact freedom. Who's incorrect? <laughs> you. Well, that's always me. That, that means, mm. Tell me something I don't know. Mm. <laughs> but what was I incorrect about? Uh, Captain Sable. Yeah. Oh, what is it called? E forty. Yeah. Oh, right. right okay. Well, uh, well, I like E forty. He's the man. He's a bad dude. He's a, he's a bad. I remember bad, the time we met him. Not yes, bad meaning bad, but bad, bad meaning, meaning good. Good. Yeah, yeah there he's it a is. bad mother. <laughs> okay, he's, he's, he dated me, but yeah. So, and as far as we talked about depression in men, and shout out to Sam who lost his life. Rest in peace. Rest in power, as we say. Okay, and and letting men know, you know, talk to someone, mm-hmm. make that eight hundred call, you know, before you decide that you, there's nothing left in your life. Mm-hmm. Okay. It's just not worth it. Man. People love you. Nothing worse. All that love he's being shown on the, on the internet now. Mm-hmm. You know. So I appreciate all the people who who pick up when I call. Oh wow. Um, you know my friends. Mm-hmm. So uh, shout out and most of you men out there, if you are, you know, if you are having trouble and you need someone to talk to, call Teeter. <laughs> Why teeter? Don't call me. I'm going to make you jump. But you got the Facebook friends. Why you don't just set up a page for help? I'm not good at that. I'm not I, good at that. I'm, I'm, I'm self I'm. I got issues mm-hmm. myself. Oh, okay. No, I mean, if you, I'm good. If you need Where help, we'll talk. Where do you feel your relationship issues stand, uh, stem from? Is it from your childhood or your divorce? My relationship with... with Women. Because you still seem like you're not all the way comfortable with mm. Well, I was I was really hurt in my divorce. Okay. Um, I I think because I'm older now, I know I know people have baggage. Right. So it's that 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 little um, mm-hmm. ideological thing of being love and all that. Right. I wish I could. You know. Again, I grew up grew up on love songs and and. So I think you're what a bit. Um, I thought you were gonna say I think you're a bitch. <laughs> That's, what, That's really, what I heard. That's what I'm saying. I think you're a bitch. No, I was going to say, I think you're a bit um, f- afraid. Mm. Oh, definitely. Because you don't want to feel that pain of your last uh, serious relationship. Right. Yeah, no, I, 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 t- I totally would agree with that. I, I totally would agree with that. And and it's going to take a, a special woman to um, wow to deal with that. Okay. If she's out there, she it's might. It's time to play our game. 
<laughs> you know what, man? You're killing me. And, and maybe doing this show will help. Maybe I'll find someone. It's man talk. So if there's any ladies out there that feel that they would fit the bill for Lewis Dix. No, Lewis, could you, could you and not the foreign ones they, that I have to fly over. How can they uh, contact you? Hit me up on Facebook. Buttercup91. <laughs> Buttercup91. Uh, or Twitter, okay. at L-E-W-D-I-X. I, did, I sent a tweet out And there. so what are that? some of the criteria for the women that do that? Yeah. Um, just um, love um, love music. Um, you know, make sure you, you, you... Walks in the park. Yeah, walks in the park. Um, laugh. She has to okay. laugh out loud. My question At least to once you. a day. That's important. My Any particular to body size or type? Oh, light skin. No, my question to you... Uh, nice behind. Not too big breasts, but as long as they there. So you're cutting off half the population. No, I'll take brown skin. I'm just okay. messing with you. She, well, you got to open be, it up a little bit. She can, be, she can be any kind of color. Okay. I mean, African-American. Okay. That's fair. African-American. I don't I don't need to. You other brothers can have the mother ones. Oh. oh. <laughs> wow. I'm, I'm, Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> We've been blessed. <laughs> no, I'm going with Operation Hand On. I'm going with the sisters. Oh, okay. Something about them, man. Sisters, they earned it. Yeah. They earned your love. Well, they probably figured that I don't want that, but <laughs> ones that do. Okay. You know, I just love black women. I think they, they've they been through it. Yeah, I love them too. Something about them, man. Yeah. Like, that yeah. clam chowder, y'all can have it. Wow, really? Why they got to be food? And clam chowder, you got to put too much seasoning in it, bad boy. Wow. I want the hot sauce. Well, oh. you've been uh, listening to The Late Night. Oh, fact freedom. All day long. It was a lot of fun. It was all right. It was all right. <laughs> we'll be back next week. We'll see what happens. They'll be back next week. For what? Same channel, same time. Man stuff. It's good to be a man. And man if you want to send your love request in to Lewis Dix, hit oh, him on Oh, come Facebook. on. <laughs> come on. Have we stooped to that? Hey, and listen, you people out there, hit the PayPal, man. Come on, hit it. Hit it. Morris Media. Go on, hit we that up. We need it. Hit Rent's it. Due. Yeah, go on, hit that up, Oh, man. wow. Anybody out there making that cheese, send some of the way. Who Moved My Cheese? It's right over at Who Moved Morris My Meat. Cheese? Great book. Okay. Thank you. You guys have a great weekend, and we'll catch you back here Hey, next Trick or Treat, have a safe Halloween. You got your costume on. You know what? Hey, you look stuff. good. We lost the cathedral tonight. Mm-hmm. I know. I already heard. Peace. How you know? Late night.